This is a quick tour of how to use the breakout rooms. You're going to go down here to the lower right corner, click the breakout room button. And it gives you the option of doing this automatically or manually. If I click automatic with three participants, it will create one breakout room with all three people. Alternatively, I could have selected I can recreate that. I could have manually put them in there. I can I can um, recreate them manually and hit recreate. And now I'm going to assign each room. I also can change the name of the room. So I can rename it San Francisco, add the room. Breakout room two, we're going to rename that one Oakland. Let's see here. O A K. Add room. And then I can decide who's going in which room. So I could assign Giselle in that room along with T. And then in the open room, I can assign just Giselle. And I actually accidentally made that room, that third room, so I can just delete it. And now there are, that was the recreate option. In the option section, I can have a participants move into the break rooms automatically, which I didn't do. I can also give each participant permission to return to the general room at any time by toggling this on or off. And there is a um, automatic close after 30 minutes. I can also be notified when time is up. And there's a countdown timer. So uh, I can decide whether the countdown is 10, 15, 30 seconds or 120 seconds. So now that I've gone through all the functions there, I'm going to open the rooms. And you see this little notification up in the top. The um, Each member was given a notification to join their room. And if they accept that, they'll be placed in the room. And then I have the option also down here if I wanted to send a broadcast message to everyone in every room. And as the host, I can also pop into each of those rooms. Um, and then when I want them to all come back into the general room, I would just click close all rooms.